Hello guys, welcome to another Bridgeter Box tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to set up NAT network with port forwarding in Bridgeter Box. Um, in order to set up uh, NAT networking in Bridgeter Box, head over to the uh, Bridgeter Box Manager, click on File, click on Preferences, click on Network and then click on the plus sign icon as you can see a new network was added go ahead and edit uh, the settings for that network click on this icon right here and notice the uh, network IP range assigned for your NAT network we are going to later uh, configure port forwarding but because we don't have yet the guest IP address we cannot really configure the rule for that um, port forwarding so go ahead and click cancel for now we'll be coming back later click OK and click OK next go back to the, to the guest operating system head over to the terminal and make sure you're getting or oh, actually before you do that you need to go into machine settings for that uh, virtual guest, click on settings, click on network, and uh, when it says attached to, make sure it says not network. And then in the name, make sure that matches the name of the network that you created in the previous step. Go ahead and click OK. And now head over to the terminal and your virtual guest and do an IF config and make sure you're getting an IP address from that range okay so it appears that we're getting an IP address from the range uh, of, of IPs that we created in the next step we are going to configure port forwarding so go back into the VirtualBox manager click on file click on preferences click on network and uh, right now we already have the IP address of our uh, guest operating system so click on the edit icon and click on port forwarding now we're ready to add the rule this rule would allow me to connect to the guest operating system from the host computer and uh, the guest operating system is running an SSH server so I'm going to name my, my rule SSH I'm going to leave TCP as the protocol then for the host IP I'm going to type 127.0.0.1 and for the host port I'm going to type 22.22 and then for the guest IP address I'm going to enter this IP address right here which is 10.0.2.15 and the guest port is 22 which is the default for uh, SSA server go ahead and click OK click OK and OK one more time and uh, we're ready to connect now head over to the terminal in your host computer and uh, try to establish a connection SSH minus P to uh, specify the port number. The port that I uh, selected was 2222. The username for the guest operating system, J. Smith, and the IP address 127.0.0.1. The reason why I'm uh, using uh, the loopback address and this port is because port forwarding the way it works is you try to establish a connection to your own IP address using this port and port forwarding would actually forward this connection to the ho to the guest operating system uh, on port 22 okay so go ahead and press enter and uh, I guess I typed something wrong okay I think I know what I, what I typed wrong. Uh, Mess the H in SSH. 
Let's enter again and uh, enter the password. And uh, just to make sure, let's do an IF config, see if the IP matches. And as you can see, we are connected to the host, to the guest operating system. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, thanks for watching.